Hello guys and welcome to another quick tutorial video and in this quick tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how you can reduce slippage on your pancake swap uh, exchange. Our first step is simply heading over to the browser section and once there you simply click or scroll down till you find pancake swap. You click on pancake swap and you're taken to the swap menu as you can see here we're currently on the swap menu. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exchanging our BNB for some cake. As you can see, the slippage tolerance is set to 1%. So let's see what that gives us. If we were to enter 0 .0, 0 0.0003, that's equivalent to 1 cent of a dollar. And in cake terms, that would be 0 0.0295 cake. So now if you were to simply click on swap, as you can see, the minimum to be received, the price impact and the trading fee. So you click on confirm swap. And the smart contract call is going to pull up. Okay, the network fee is 0 0.19. So from here, we simply click on this slippage tolerance and reduce it to 0.1%. It says here your transaction may fail, seeing as the slippage tolerance is so low. So let's go to 0.5. Click on 0 0.5, click on this X right here. As you can see, slippage tolerance is at 0 0.5. So you click on swap again. Dismiss. Try increasing your slippage tolerance. Okay. Let's see, let's see. If you could remember, the transaction fee was 0 0.19. Okay, so it's still going with the average uh, 0. Point. Okay, let's try 0. Point. 0.07%. Let's see if this works. Simply click on swap. And you click on confirm swap. If you could remember, we were working at 0 0.19 per fee. So that's what we're still getting 0 0.19. All right, guys, comment down below if you have any questions concerning how you can reduce slippage on your pancake swap, and you'll be given an answer. Thank you.